Kevin Biggio. Kevin Biggio has been a disappointment to say the least. Coming up in 2019 alongside Bo Bichette and Vladimir Guerrero Jr., it seemed like Kevin Biggio was going to be part of this three-headed young elite superstar core for the Toronto Blue Jays. And in 2019 and 2020, it did seem like that was coming to fruition as Kevin Biggio was still up there among the team leaders in on-base percentage. But ever since 2021, when they moved him over to third base full-time, it feels like there was a little bit of an adjustment maybe a little bit of a mental battle, and his bat was never the same. And then came the injuries, and then came the trade for Matt Chapman, and Espinal being really good at second, and Biggio fell down the depth charts as a utility role. And with Kevin Biggio's youth wasting away on the bench, what should the Blue Jays actually do with him? Before I get into it, guys, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to this YouTube channel as we're uploading daily MLB and Blue Jays content. Well, if you wanted to make a move with Kevin Biggio, it would have to be with a trade. According to baseball trade values, Kevin Biggio only has a 0.3 trade value. The 0.3 trade value is an equivalent to Bowden Francis on the Toronto Blue Jays. Correction, on the Buffalo Bisons, came up for the Blue Jays for one game last year. Bowden Francis is a 26-year-old starting pitcher with a 4.68 ERA in the minors. The reason why I bring that up is you're not going to get much in return for Kevin Biggio one for one. The way I see it, if you're going to trade Kevin Biggio, it's going to be in a bigger package where he's a throw-in piece. Like, sure, if Kevin Biggio was tossed in a deal for Scott Barlow, then yeah, maybe I'd consider it. But if the deal isn't there, then don't trade Kevin Biggio. Why make a move specifically to get rid of Kevin Biggio and cash in on his quote unquote value when there just really isn't any there? If the market doesn't want him, the Blue Jays need him. He's an okay left handed bat that could come off the bench and play multiple positions. If you need someone to fill in at second base, you got Kevin Biggio. If you need someone to fill in at first base, you got Kevin Biggio. If you need someone to fill in the outfield, you got Kevin Biggio. And I think the last couple years, Kevin Biggio has been adjusting to this new utility role because this whole life he's been starting every day. So I wouldn't be surprised to see Kevin Biggio bounce back and really focus on his role. Maybe hits above 250 again. I'm not saying it's going to happen or do I think it's going to happen? But if he's our third string utility bench bat, then I'm not really expecting much. And I kind of like the versatility down there. But you guys let me know in the comments down below. What do you think the Blue Jays should do with Kevin Biggio? Should we put him in a trade pack? or should we just let them be? And guys, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, go Chase Go!